the Springboks had rode their luck through two one-point knockout wins into the final against the All Blacks and managed one more. The rugby gods smiled down from above as they escaped with a 12-11. Win over a 14-man All Black side, described as a team of destiny where winning the Rugby World Cup was inevitable. Who can then deny the presence of divine intervention, because much of what happened on a soggy night in Paris was out of the Springbok's hands, the uncontrollables fell fortuitously in South Africa's. Favor time and time again that a new interpretation on foul play was found to send blindside flanker Shannon Frizzle to the sin bin for accidentally falling on a player's leg following a failed cleanout. In the second minute, Wayne Barnes later apologized to Artie Savia for getting his call wrong on a breakdown contest where Savia had by all intensive purposes won a holding on penalty when Barnes repeatedly called no knock on, no knock on and allowed play to continue for multiple phases leading to a would-be try to Aaron Smith. But there was no issue coming back and overriding Barnes' original call. As there was a try involved. This is standard process allowed by the laws to review any errors made in the lead dash up. IT was these beautiful moments of fortune and chance that compounded in South Africa's favor to keep them on. Top, Sam Kane's red card was deemed to be sufficiently different to see a Khaleesi's yellow card offense, which occurred later on. To be clear, all these calls are justifiable despite having room to be interpreted differently. And despite all of this, the All Blacks had a ridiculous number of chances to still win. Kane's moment of reckless aggression came at the worst time for the All Blacks. Having just forced a turnover and won a scrum in front of the sticks after a period of sustained pressure, they had worked hard for that moment for a chance to close the gap down 9 to 3. Instead, they were left to play with 14 men from the 26th minute having already played with 10 minutes without frizzle. The All Blacks management and coaches have constantly defended Kane's character. 